Welcome everybody to lesson two of this VTS Iron Condor Strategy Mega Course. I spent a lot of time putting together this 25 video Iron Condor series to educate VTS members on a strategy that I believe can benefit every single investor's portfolio. Today I'm going to go over the performance and all the risk adjusted return metrics and you'll see exactly why I say this strategy can benefit literally everybody. But if you're not a member of the VTS community yet, no problem. There's a free two week trial on my website or in the description down below. Not only will you gain immediate access to this 25 video series, but you'll also see all of the live trades for all five of our strategies that make up the total portfolio solution. Plus the volatility barometer, the dashboard, my daily blog, the private live streams. Make sure you claim your free trial and check it out. So no surprise, the first thing that everybody looks at whenever they're looking at an investment strategy is of course that rate of return. So let's review that first. I launched VTS all the way back in January 2012, and this Iron Condor strategy was one of the originals, so it's been going for over 10 years now. In that time period, it's returned about 18% per year. And side note, it's actually never had a losing year since 2012. Now, knock wood, I don't want to jinx it. It's going to happen eventually, of course. Nothing works in all market environments, but it's been a really consistent and performer for us for over a decade. Now, the benchmark I always compare to is a 60% stocks, 40% bonds balanced index fund called the Vanguard VBanks. The VBanks has returned a little less than 8% a year since 2012. Now, when you back out inflation and you run the numbers through bear markets as well, like in 2008, for example, when the 6040 VBanks crashed 38% and took four years to recover, this is why buy and hold investors don't make more than a mid to low single digit return long term. So obviously this iron con strategy has crushed its benchmarks returning 18% per year. But the truth is rate of return by itself isn't actually the most important part of a trading strategy. What matters most is the risk you have to take in order to get that rate of return. For example, adjusted for inflation, the S&P 500 has returned 4.6% per year for the last 25 years. That's with all dividends reinvested. So by itself, in my opinion, that's not acceptable. But it's even worse when you factor in that an investor would have had to sustain two massive drawdowns and a 13-year period with no progress at all. That's a lot of risk to just get an inflation-adjusted return of 5% long-term. That's why I personally trade a portfolio of nothing but tactical strategies like this Iron Condor strategy. So now let me break down the key risk-adjusted metrics that make this strategy so good. First, the maximum drawdown. This measures the peak to trough largest down period a strategy has taken. And for the Iron Condor strategy, that was 15.27%. If you want to see where that happened, it's right there in December 2017. Now, this 25 video mega course will teach you that iron condors actually perform best during periods of mid to high volatility. 2017 was the lowest volatility year in the market's history. Remember, we had the VIX index in the nines and tens for most of that year. Iron condors are definitely going to struggle in that environment, and that's why we had that 15% drawdown. But then the big volpocalypse happened in February 2018, volatility returned to the market, and the strategy has done great in the last six years since that drawdown. Now, because successful investing takes place, over multiple decades, not just a few years, I always like to keep track of the average of the three largest drawdowns. Every strategy, no matter how good it is, is going to have a couple years where everything just goes wrong. That's investing. But when you average out the three largest bad periods, you start to get an idea for how much risk you're going to be taking in order to get that rate of return. So if we average the biggest three drawdowns over that 11-year period, we get 11.25%, which for me is a very manageable level of risk. And then this value also carries over into the next statistic called the VTS performance score. This is a risk adjusted return metric that I created myself and there's actually a full video for it. I'll link to that up here and in the description down below. Simply put though, we take the annualized rate of return, subtract a risk-free rate, which is typically just US Treasury over the same time period, and then we divide that by the average of the three largest drawdowns. Again, we do this because those are the true pain points an investor will experience if they follow something in real time. So anything below zero sucks, of course, because it means the risk-free rate is actually better than the investment. Anything greater than zero at least represents something with positive alpha. And then anything over one is exceptional because it shows that the investment has a higher rate of return than the drawdowns you have to sustain to get it. Long term, if your rate of return is anywhere close to the drawdowns you have to experience to get it, then you're going to be very happy with that ratio. As a point of comparison, here's the S&P 500 since 1990. The VTS performance score is just 0.09, which is absolutely terrible. It means you would have had to suffer 
several drawdowns that average about 45% just to get your 7% rate of return. No thank you, there are many better ways to invest than that. So our Iron Condor strategy has a VTS performance score of 1.43, which is exceptional. It shows that the rate of return is much higher than the average drawdowns you have to sustain to get it. But as good as that statistic is, the best statistic may be the next one. This strategy has a correlation to the S&P 500 of just 4%, which in a bull market is extremely hard to come by. Now, I don't want to elaborate too much on this point because lesson one in this mega course was talking about this very low correlation. The punchline though is that investors don't need more strategies that are highly correlated to the stock market. They've probably got plenty of that already. What they need are positive alpha strategies that show no correlation to the stock market. This is why I said at the beginning of the video that this iron condor strategy will be beneficial to literally all investors. It can be added to any portfolio and it will improve your risk adjusted performance. 18% a year, an average of the three largest drawdowns at just 11%, and no correlation to the stock market at all. That's why this strategy for me gets a 20% allocation within my total portfolio solution. So again, for immediate access to the full course plus everything else that VTS offers, make sure you claim your free trial on the website or in the description down below and let me teach you this awesome iron condor strategy. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.